What's happening guys, Austin Moore Skills Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a lot of XP in Power World. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a how to level up fast guide. It's going to be for all different skill levels. And if you stick around to, till the end, I'm going to show you a method that will give you 2 million XP for a very little effort. So stick around for that and let's get right into the video. All right, so the number one thing that will have the biggest impact on how fast you level up in Power World is by going to your world settings. So if we go to change world settings and we go to the custom settings, uh, there's a setting in here called XP rate. And this right here will have the biggest impact on how fast you level up in Power World. You can actually tweak this if you want and you can buff this up all the way up to 20 if you want. Now, if you don't want to beat the game in 10 minutes, I have some other things you can do too that will help you level up, but this by far will have the biggest impact on how fast you get XP in the game. But really like, I would just kind of like play around with this and find a really good pacing that you're comfortable with. Find a pacing that suits your style. Uh, typically I keep mine at around 5. I have played on 20x before and it was ridiculously fast. It felt like something was broken. But basically, you know, how the leveling system works, Pal World really encourages you to capture as many pals as possible. It encourages you to capture duplicate pals. That is something that I've noticed, and catching the same amount of pals actually has a lot of uses in the game. But we're going to go ahead and go into the wild, and I'm going to show you how the leveling system kind of works. But simply put, just capture as many pals as you can. They'll give you an XP bonus if you've caught that pal already, and they will do that up until you've caught that pal for 10 times. I'll find a pal somewhere, and I'll kind of show you how that works. And as you get higher leveled... It's, it gets much harder to capture lower level pals because you, you may accidentally kill it. Especially if you have Daydream with you. Makes it a little more challenging. Alright, so we caught Floppy. I've caught Floppy three times. I have an XP bonus of 1000 XP. But definitely if you can, capture them instead of killing them. You get way more XP by capturing the pals and not killing them. And here we got, we got another uh, 1,000 XP bonus by capturing Floppy again. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my world settings and I'm going to tweak my 5 XP buff up to a 20 XP buff and I'll kind of show you how much XP you get with a 20 XP buff. Let's go ahead and buff this up to 20. Okay, let's try to capture Floppy again with our 20x XP buff. So we should get 20 times the XP. Well, it was on a 5 before, so... All right, 67 percent. Okay, so the 20x doesn't affect the XP bonus because it was still 1,000, but our party got way more XP. So as you can see, I've already caught 10 lamb bells. So if I capture another lamb bell, I'm not going to get that XP bonus. I think I have 14 chicky pies, so I'll just go ahead and catch a chicky pie. Okay, went ahead and through one okay so as you can see right here at the screen uh there's no xp bonus and my party actually got like a little bit lower xp that time by catching a lower level pal so it really depends on like the levels of your party by how much xp they will get so if you capture something that's like a really high level like higher levels than your party your party's gonna get more xp if you capture something that's a little bit lower level than your party then your party's gonna get lower xp hope that makes sense so really like as you level up, you want to like progressively get to the the higher regions of the map. Unless, you know, there are still pals, you know, on the map where you haven't caught the X where you haven't caught 10 of them to get the XP bonus. Uh yeah, obviously go back and capture those. And get that XP bonus. Now, something that I highly recommend doing is getting one of these Vixies right here to to farm you pal spheres. These pal spheres are going to be very useful, especially, you know, early game to capture as many pals as possible as you get you know later into the game the pal spheres become a little less useful because they don't work most of the time if you're trying to capture a pal that's a real high level however i still like to have an unlimited supply because who cares if you waste them or not because you have an unlimited supply so you might as well just use them anyway even though they might have like a 0.1 percent chance of working on a high level pal you have unlimited supply so who really cares 
So Vixie's good for like any part of the game, early, middle, late. Now, since we will be catching tons of pals to get more XP, we're gonna have tons of duplicates. So what can we do with our duplicates in the game? Well, they actually have a lot of uses. You can sell them to the black market guy, uh, get some more gold, get some money. You can also put them in this uh, little machine over here to make your pals more powerful. Let me go ahead and mess around with this. So I have like a bunch of chicky pies. I'm just gonna throw them in here. All right, so we select a base pal. Let's say I wanna use my base pal as my, my shiny chicken. And then we can use pals as essence. Now pals as essence will be consumed, which means the base pal will consume the essence to make the base pal more powerful. So I'm gonna use my shiny as the base pal. And we'll use all these as essence right here. All right, so my shiny pal, my lucky pal just got more stronger. So it really is worth it to catch multiple pals, you know, just for those reasons alone. Now you can also butcher your pals to get more materials. I don't really do that that often. I don't know, it feels kind of wrong to me. But if I really, really need the materials and I'm too lazy to capture another pal to get it, and I really don't like the pal and I have duplicates of it, I'm probably going to butcher it. Now, another way to get XP is by farming bosses, but there's also a XP glitch that allows you to capture a boss, and you get a lot of XP doing that with very little effort. I'll show you how that works. Now, I'm going to do this method with two bosses. The first boss is going to be Zoe and Grisbold, and I actually did a video on this, but I want to go ahead and see if I can do it again. Uh, to see if it still works and because I would like to have another Zoe and Grisbolt on my team. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Small Settlement. Alright, so once you arrive at Small Settlement, you're going to want to attack one of these guards right here. And you're going to be wanted. Now you want to lure these guards over here to this fast travel point. You want them to get pretty close to this thing right here. And then you want to go to Renee Sneakin Tower. If you do this correctly, the guards will actually be following you. And you want to lead the guard up here, up the stairs. And we're going to lure these guards up here to the tower, which is right over here. Uh, this is where you fight the boss at. As you can see, they're coming up the stairs right here. That's what you want. And we're just going to go inside this uh, little building right here. Yeah, this should be perfect. Alright, so let's go ahead and join the boss battle. Now, once you get here, you kind of want to watch the cutscene. You don't want to skip it. But if you do this correctly, you should see the guards. Yeah, see, there's the guards in here right now. So they're going to be in this little uh, battle arena. That's how you know you're doing it correctly. Now the next part is actually pretty important. You actually don't want to attack the boss at all. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to wait for the guards to attack the boss. And you'll know if they attack the boss if you see the boss's health. It's kind of dropped. But you, you only, all you need is a palace sphere to do this. So we're just going to wait it out and see if the the boss gets attacked by one of the guards. And it looks like it has. So we'll go ahead and capture the boss. And now once we do this, look at all the XP we got. We got like 38,000 XP for the party. I got 43,000 XP. Now there's another boss that we're going to go to that will give you even more XP. But basically now how to get out of this little predicament, we're just gonna go to our options here and we're gonna hit respond. All right, so we're gonna respawn, and you can really respawn anywhere. We're gonna respawn back to our base. Now that boss is really good if you're kind of a, a lower level, kind of early mid game, and you want to level up real fast. Uh, you can just keep farming Zoe and Grisbol and keep doing that glitch over and over again. Get tons of XP. You could even sell your extras to the black market guy and get some money while you're at it too. So it could also be a good money farm. But if you're a little bit further into the game and that's not enough for you, I'll show you another boss that you could farm. But you're going to need a flying mount for this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and fly on our pal. And I'm going to go all the way up the map right here. I haven't even unlocked this spot yet. So 
We're, we're gonna go to the boss anyway. Now, as you're exploring, you could also find plenty of eggs. And eggs are also a pretty good way to level up. Uh, every time you hatch an egg, you get XP, plus you get a pal that you may not have caught yet. So I highly recommend just exploring around and finding eggs. But basically, you know, you want to unlock this little waypoint right here. It is the PAL Genetic Research Unit Tower Entrance, all right? So once you do that, uh, in this tower right here, there's going to be a boss battle. So we're kind of going to do the same strategy as what we did with a small settlement, except since this boss is way more powerful, you're going to get a lot more XP. So let's go ahead and fast travel to the small settlement. Go ahead and get wanted. And we will fast travel again. Go all the way up here. And these guys should still be following us. They are. So let's go ahead and go down here. And face the boss. Capture the boss. You know how we do? With a common pal sphere. Are they still following me? Oh yeah, they're still following me. Alright, let's go in here. And you want to do this during the daytime. I don't know if I mentioned that or not, because night still might be too cold, even with cold armor. But here's the boss that we're going to face. I do think this is the last boss of the huh. game. Something like that. But we'll go ahead and skip the cutscene. And now we just want to get these guys to attack the boss. And let's hope that we do not die. I think they have attacked him. Yeah, the health's dropped just a little bit. So let's go ahead and throw a pal sphere. Yeah, see, he's kind of glitched right now. And check this out. I got 2 million XP for all that. That's with the 20x multiplier. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, so let's get out of here. Go ahead and respawn. Now, if you don't do this with any multiplier, like if you have like a one, you'll probably get like 100,000 XP, something like that. So, which is still quite a lot of XP, but it's really up to you how you want to play the game. If you want to have that 20X multiplier, get 2 million XP. If you want to have the 1X multiplier, get 100,000 XP. It really depends on, you know, how fast you want to progress in the game, really. These are just some tips and tricks to make it easier for you. Anyway, guys, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and I'll see you later.